our PACOR Leader of the Week as we welcome you back to Rice Eccles Stadium. A great time had by all here last night at Utah's Hall of Fame induction dinner and one of the all-time greats to rock that Utah uniform, Eric Weddle, part of this year's induction class. He'll be honored today at halftime. An All-American DB during his time at Utah, beloved by the fan base, but maybe the best story ever was what happened when you came out of retirement after two years hanging out and helped the Rams win a Super Bowl, played every meaningful snap in that playoff run, and you got the blame got to right show here. for it, Eric. That, yeah, that thing is gorgeous. I, like, can't see over here. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome and congratulations on on everything. Really, you've had you've had a lot going on. Is it good to be back? I'm sure it's always nice to be here in Salt Lake City. Yeah, it's it's kind of a world. It's like my life keeps getting better and better. I don't know, understand why, but it's the beard. The, the, yeah, man, the magical beard is still has an effect on people. So <laughs> to be back here in the stadium, unbelievable environment, and to uh, come support the squad and get honored, pretty surreal. I'm not gonna lie. Man, E Dub, man, congratulations. I Thank haven't you. seen you since the Super Bowl. I was texting you like crazy through that whole deal. I'm sure nobody else was. <laughs> <laughs> but man, it's it's so good to have you back here. Um, I mean, I just I, I love what you did for the university. I don't know if you know it, but you were a huge part of me coming here. You know, after it's seeing what you did against Georgia Tech, I'm like, <laughs> I, I gotta, go play, I gotta play with that guy. <laughs> I have to play against that with that guy. And uh, my favorite memory, I'm still to this day. I know we played against each other in the league. Yeah. Uh, after that, special teams, I hate you for that. <laughs> but um, in 2006, we played TCU, mm -hmm. and it was like third down. And you literally hit this guy. I turned around. I was like a hook drop. But you hit this guy so hard, and you ripped it out and intercepted at the same time. Everybody was going crazy because we didn't know whether <laughs> whether it was a fumble or an interception. Right but I'm there. like, I'm right like, here. I'm hovering right over. I'm like, did that just happen? Did he? I was so confused. I just raised my arms like, yeah, let's go. But I, got, I remember that that whole year was just so surreal with me. And I just appreciate everything you did for this university. Man, that's uh, that's what the University of Utah is, is this type of relationship. Like Sly and I competed against each other. We were great teammates. He was a young buck back when my last year. But literally, we're family because of this university. And literally, I think that's why we, we take it to heart of how we act, how we treat people, how we represent our university, because the relationships you make in the four years, five years you're here will last a lifetime. No question. And that's what it's all about. Congrats Thank you. on getting inducted to the Hall of Fame. I had the privilege of watching you play, not only for Utah, but in the NFL. Yes, sir. Great player. You're what I call, what I like to call my PhDs. <laughs> <laughs> Poor, hungry, and driven. Yes. You know, and those I love are, that. Those are the kinds of guys, Eric, I like to recruit. Yes, sir. Four-star athlete. Talk about your recruitment here to Utah because I, I, I've read a little bit about it, but yeah. let's talk about it. Yeah, I mean, I was, I was kind of overlooked, you could say. Uh, a lot of great players around my area in the, in, in the inland, inland Empire. Jesus can't talk. Uh, <laughs> But you know, the bottom line for me was, is I always felt like I would prove myself on the field. I didn't need any help. You could say what you want. There could be other players out there, uh, faster, quicker, stronger, did not matter. At the end of the day, I felt that my work, my preparation, how I uh, treated the game would always overcome any obstacle. And I get to the University of Utah and, and that was my focus, proving myself, earning the respect, respect to my teammates and showing what I'm all about. And I love this game. This game brought so much to my life to my family and it's not so much playing it it's what I learned from it how to communicate how to treat my teammates how to learn from adversity right talk about adversity this past week with the with the youths <laughs> sitting on the dang runway for hours sitting at the sleep in the airport you know what nobody cares right that's adversity what are you gonna do about it are you gonna, are you gonna step up and, and move on from it or are you gonna sulk and say what was me and I was always the latter I was always the what's next let's go let's go be great if you don't want to be great just don't talk to me Kyle Whittingham Simple. was the one who really believed in you. He told us yes. yesterday he, he convinced Urban Meyer to offer you a scholarship. Uh, so uh, it turns out he was right. And you, obviously, Kyle Whittingham is the reason you came here to be at Utah Ute as well. I got to ask you, if you got a call from Sean McVay in December <laughs> this year, are you picking up that phone or are you going to snooze that one? Uh, 
you know, he stays ready. <laughs> Stay ready. He told me this last year, right? We're at San Diego State, uh, and he, I, I, met, I met him at San Diego State. I'm like, bro, why are you, are you training for something? He's like, you stay ready. You ain't gotta get ready. <laughs> <laughs> and the next thing you know, roll around so playoffs. True. It's so true. I, I try, I try to live my life that way. You know, I work out to to feel better, right? Mentally, physically, so I'm a better dad, better husband. Uh, if Sean called me, I, me and him are like this, but. I don't know if I could tackle my son, let alone a running back yeah, with my ruptured pack. Pectoral. So yeah. I, I think that ship's long gone. I, I would think about it maybe for a second. Hopefully my wife would be like, no. She put her foot down said, hey, you had your moment. You're 38. I it's think over you're with. good. Yes. Yeah. I think now you just soak it up and soak it in. By the yes. way, speaking of which, uh, have you seen these? No. What is that? Five, the first 5,000 oh lucky gosh. fans. Look at that. In the stands today. Yeah. Let's put, I mean, we may as well put them on. We're part of that. Wow. Group. I think we should do the rest of the show <laughs> with these on. I, I think they look good. Some of and us look better. You know what? I don't even know how little, somebody puts their not lips too bad. in. Is this how you get your lips yeah, You know, you, you, you like wear this? a beard. Is this what you feel like all the time? You know, it's just, I don't even know it's there, quite honestly. So <laughs> it's just nice. It's nice powerful. and beautiful. Yeah. But I, I tell you what, at late night, that midnight <laughs> snack that you can pull out of there is awesome. The worst is when nobody tells me I have food in my beard, and then I'm like, look like the, 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 the schmuck that doesn't know what's going on. There's a lot of beards already. You can see in the crowd. Yeah, these look good. I think they look good, as long as I can see back on the playback monitor real quick yes before we go your real quick thoughts on the team this year i think we have a special group i know the character the toughness uh being able to fight scratch and claw in any situation we're going to be in every game and i hope the guys understand uh the significance of last week you should have won that game you didn't okay you learn from it you move forward and let, let it be the driving force the entire season that you don't want to be in that situation not one more time so uh i love our team i love the character i love the leadership uh i expect big things and i know they expect great things this season and I'll be supporting them every step of the way. Beautifully said. I love that. I had to take my beard off because I just had a little bit too much no, hair in my should. mouth. But we don't I, want you wearing a <laughs> yeah. beard, so you're good. I'll give it to one of these lucky fans out here. Eric Weddle, you are the man. One more Thanks, time. Sir. Can I see that ring? Yeah, I baby. Just, that is a gorgeous, Ooh, look at that thing. Oh, beautiful, let me turn it upside down. There we go. champion and now Hall of Famer, Eric Weddle. Such a great story. Beautiful.